Next on the agenda for tonight is the superintendent's report. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have some exciting stuff tonight. Is anything here? No. no. Um, first, I did want to mention that the the new um, radio and walkie-talkie system that we purchased and talked about last year in the budget has been installed across the district this week. So now we have a dedicated channel. We have emergency walkie-talkies in each department, multiple walkie-talkies in each school now. The trainers came in this week and trained them. Um, really quality product, as well as the radios. that Now we can communicate directly to, to buses as well with no interruption in the, in the frequency. And um, in addition, we have a GPS system now where we can uh, net watch the location of buses which is really, really helpful. But the next most important thing is, um, tonight is the night that we recognize our outgoing board members. And we have gifts for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a car one. <laughs> it's a trip to Africa. That's <laughs> 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 I'm from the school district on the Board of Education. Well, thank you for your nine Thanks years of service. And Linda, six years. Education report. If I could have a motion, please. Move that. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Next is the Board of Education proposed board policy upon the presentation and recommendation of Dr. Dean Buey, Superintendent of Schools, that the Board of Education review and approve the second reading and final approval of the meal charging and prohibit. Prohibitation against meal shaming policy 5660. If I could have a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Tonight is there is no items for <laughs> curriculum, so we will move to personnel with Dr. Sweeney. A professional staff recommendation resignation, Molly Maroney, modified assistant lacrosse coach, and Tammy Reynolds, library media specialist here at Lincoln School. Any discussion? All in favor? Or excuse me, motion? Move it, move it. Can I second? second. Can I say something to this? Sure. Um, there's been some conversation about uh, the processes that we have in place and the uh, some desire to enhance the way that we communicate with exiting staff. Mm -hmm. And so Heidi has been working on um, looking at a variety of ways that we could um, either survey or face-to-face -face meet mm -hmm. our employees where we're not quite as clear yeah. on why they're separating from the district. Of course, no one ever wants to leave. Everyone just wants to come here and work. But occasionally, somebody will leave. And so we're, uh, we're working on that. The other thing I've been spending some time looking at is uh, what are called stay interviews, where mm -hmm. you talk to various groups of people and talk about not only why they stay with us, but what types of situations or conditions would exist to make them look elsewhere. And so that way you can always be more proactive than reactive. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 
B, professional staff recommendations, leave of absence. Gretchen Coakley, elementary teacher. She's going to be serving as one of our reading coaches mm -hmm. here at Lake School. Any discussion? Motion? Move it. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? For C, professional staff recommendations, probationary. I'll have two additions as well, so if you'd like, I'll read the two that are on board docs, and then I'll read the next two that are together. Mm -hmm. So Melissa Russell, Literacy at the Oswego Middle School, Effective 9-1, and Sean Nagel, Technology Education at the High School, also Effective 9-1. Be it further resolved that the probationary expiration date will depend on the individual teacher's APPR ratings, and therefore be it further resolved that to receive tenure, the individual must receive overall APPR ratings of effective or highly effective in at least three of the four preceding years, and therefore be it further resolved that if the teacher receives an ineffective composite or overall APPR rating in their final year of probation, they will not be eligible for tenure at that time. And just to note that the tenure dates, um, Missy's 9-1-21 because she served a year as a regular sub, and it's connected to her tenure area, and Sean because he'll be new to us, 9-1-22. Any questions? Motion? Move it. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And as Dr. Buat has mentioned before, we'll invite our new uh, probationary teachers back in the fall for recognition. And then the other two probationary appointments, we have Frederick Donabella, Physical Education, Layton School, Tenure Due Date, 9-1-22, and Christina Taylor, Physical Education, the Oswego Middle School, also 9-1-22. Be it further resolved that the probationary expiration date will depend on the individual teacher's APPR ratings, and therefore be it further resolved that to receive tenure, the individual must receive an overall APPR ratings of effective or highly effective in at least three of the four preceding years, and therefore be it further resolved that the teacher receives an ineffective composite or overall APPR rating in their final year of probation, they will not be eligible for tenure at that time. Um, I can also send the backup back to you okay. first thing in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Any Maybe questions? For, the, for uh, Mr. Donabella, I don't, was there any backup on the board docs? Mm -hmm. uh, there was. There was. There was. <laughs> so I'll resend it back out to you first thing in the morning, but do you have a specific question? Because I did. No, 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 no. I just, when I, uh, I looked at it, I think on Saturday morning, yeah. and there was no backup for it me. It wasn't there back. Okay. It came on Everybody else was there, but not him. Okay. Yeah, um, as we indicated in the meeting, as the turnover between last yeah. Tuesday and today was, that was a lot of fast money. ruling <laughs> and largely personnel, which which demands not only to, that we exhaust the interview process, which is three levels of interviews, but then backup has to be generated not only at the building level, who's making a recommendation, with a with a resume of all the people that applied and who was interviewed, who was on the interview committee, as well as the resume and some other things. So it's a it's a, it's a pretty hectic time between the building clerical and administration and personnel. So we were loading things up right until the 11th hour. That's why we give you an eight hour day. That's right. <laughs> I only have an eight hour day? That's <laughs> <laughs> all you're paid for. Okay. Could I have a motion, please? <laughs> that Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? D, extra compensatory position recommendation, summer counseling. So this was amended, and the amendments are only a few literally in some cases cents or a few dollars, but there was a step correction with the summer council. We just approved you it. did. Okay, that's yeah, good. I just wanted to make sure that the correct amounts were put out. All right. Any questions? Motion? Move. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? E, OMS extra compensatory position recommendations, and if you don't mind, F, OMS extra compensatory recommendations, that's the after school study table detention, and G, which is the OMS extra compensatory recommendation, also after school study table mentor scholar. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions on that group? And, and there'll be some more trickling in over the summer. Motion, please. Move on. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? H, OHS, extra compensatory position recommendations. Just one batch for H, for, for OHS. Okay, any questions? Motion? Move it. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Opposed? 
I support staff recommendation resignation. Tammy Martinez, school bus attendant. She's serving in another position. Any questions? Motion. Motion. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> Opposed. J, support staff recommendation, leave of absence. Kira Canelli, teacher aide part-time at FPS. She's actually recently completed um, a portion of her teaching program and she'll be student teaching at FPS. Now. So, any questions? Motion? Move. Second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> K, support staff recommendation from the preferred eligibility list. Karen Lloyd is a library clerk. She'll be at Riley in the fall. Any questions? Motion? Move it. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? L, support staff recommendations, permanent appointment for our uh, group of custodial workers who've completed their probationary period and one school bus driver for transportation. Any questions? Motion? Move it. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? M, extra compensatory with uh, position recommendation, temporary summer uh, for Barb Sierra, who's a library clerk. She'll work at the high school for a period of time not to exceed 25 hours. Um, she'll be working to not only uh, check in new textbooks as they arrive, but also to make sure that the senior textbooks and student textbooks that they're returning get put back in the stock so that they're ready to go in mm -hmm. Any questions? Motion? Hold it. Second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> and support staff recommendation, summer food service program, Kathy Tice, substitute cook. Any questions? Motion? Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? O, temporary employee student helpers, and P, temporary and substitute employees. Any questions? Motion? Move it. Second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I think that's all I got. Mm -hmm. uh, temporary light temporary light. substitute? Yeah. P. P. I put only P together. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next is finance with Nancy Squires. <coughs> Um, I have one item on the agenda. It's a facilities use form for Softball Nation Champion events to use um, our facilities in July. Uh, it's for some overflow from the Legends Girls Softball League. Um, and they have a 12 and under, a 14 year under, and an 18 year and under. Um, some of our students are participating from their travel league. Any questions? I, I think I asked this before. We, we have not, I know we looked at it to change it and we never changed it. So is that on the facility the, use? Correct. Yeah, it's on the list policy. for that, of that group of policies that we're going to look at. Yep. Motion, please. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Next on the agenda Aye. is Aye. item. Can I, can I ask? Um, Ron, to clarify a little bit about the building use that we just approved for softball nation champions events. What is that? So that's the group that's taken over the Legends Field. It's from Syracuse Agency. Um, his name is, I think it's Justin Arsenal, reached out to me to see if they could use this facility, the softball field, for the overflow because they're doing that large tournament that's there. So they're going to host it here. Um, I believe it's on a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. I think it's the 12th, 13th, and 14th of July. Mm -hmm. And they kind of, I guess, looked around the area and the community, and they knew the, the proximity of our field, and knowing that we <coughs> have some of the students that are going to participate in that tournament to see if they could then um, incur the expense of utilizing our fields. And then there's a clear dialogue about what is going to be set up. <coughs> I don't know if at some point they're going to maybe reach out to the booster club as well for the concession stand. But right now they just ask for the field to be dragged blind and then um, bathroom accessibility. The bathroom. Are, they, are they charged a fee? They are going to be because there's got to be somebody that's on for grounds and maintenance of the fields in between games but also then have a custodian that's on so that they can attend to the bathrooms because they're going to utilize the bathrooms. So that how the fees determined is based upon the cost of the 
cost of the, the yep. that we had talked about yep. before. Yeah, the yep. additional, that if they're making money off of it and Correct. the amount of people and if there's concession, all these other things. So that's kind of why I was yes. asking the question. Right. 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 It's when it's a bit Are they insured? Yes, yes they are. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, several, <laughs> several years ago we talked about the, the facility use fee. Yep. We were going to hike that. Did we ever do anything with that? No, that's what that's I was just talking about. The policy never got there were, there there were, there were 12 to 15 policies that were reviewed by at, by cabinet level in May. And May of this year? Yes, and Karen tried to set up a facilities meeting that you couldn't find a mutually agreeable time. Yeah, we just ran out of So time. we're moving it, we're going to move it into July. There's 15, 12 to 15 policies that have to be reviewed by the committee. One is the regulation on wellness, one of them is around. The, the work around the, um, the fee structure. Mm -hmm. So that'd be more just pop it would be more than just policy it's review where I have to dig into a structure charge fee. How, how it's developed yep. now and how, how yeah. do we develop it right. in the future. How's it fair and equitable? Right, right. if it's a non-for-profit kids program, then obviously yep. then you can do that. Than but if it's a money-making venture like what they right. have going. And that's what we yeah. talked about. Like yeah. if it was something that with our kids are right. using it, then there shouldn't be a fee. But if it's an outside group and they're making money, then that should so be have that a massive stock curriculum for years. Yeah. Yeah. And and the lacrosse, too. And the process. And the fee structure that's in place now has been there for 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't even pay our taxes. Right. right. Well, exactly. And some other school districts I know, too, um, that I don't know if this will get brought up, but, for example, this man is going to call me tomorrow to see if it got approved, but then also, you know, they make money at con on concessions where typically school districts, when they are they, when they allow a group like this to utilize it, then they have to then go through our, what would be like our booster club concessions. So that we then make the monies on it versus them having like a food truck come in or something along those lines like that. So we supply that service. Right. So that would be something that other districts do. So we would want to probably visit that with you know, this. Yeah, because it's a three day event. So I can only imagine that you're going to, if you want to sell Gatorade, you're going to make some money. Yeah. So. Very similar to the college. Yeah. If you use their facilities, you have to use their dining services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At this time, we move to um, items from the board. I, go um, I think this week um, the uh, senior walk was uh, mm -hmm. real good. Right? Um, I went to Kingsford to witness that, and the uh, faces on the seniors were pretty, you know, pretty great. And so were the, the students that really um, went through. I heard somebody videotaped it, but it didn't work. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is it that true? Sorry about it. Anyways. Um, but in a good thought that I, we didn't think of. Sorry, that's what I heard. I was, well, I'm sorry. Brian, I said I heard I somebody small. videotaped it, but it didn't work. I videotaped work. it. Did it work? I thought it didn't work good. good. I, what happened was I got too busy high-fiving all the kids that were going by, and the video got turned off. Right in the middle of it. A good point that was brought up, was and I think awesome we need to think about, is somebody said, why don't they go to the middle school? We do need them there. But then somebody said the kids are all gone, but I thought, what about the teachers? I mean, the teachers, the teachers were saying, I want to see you know, the teachers did want to see him. Yeah. If you could do it even one week earlier, he'd be there. Right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I, I just wanted to, you know, say to that, I think it was a great tradition that, you know, to carry on that I think that was. Uh, they even came to central office. I saw your picture parked in my office, so it was great. And I really like the uh, name tags they had on them. Yeah. That said, remember me. And they had their it name looked like an auction. Like, do you want to your, buy yourself a senior? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just give you a good job to the district yeah. for doing that. I attended the uh, Anetto sixth grade honors and graduation, and that was that was a very nice ceremony. Uh, kids were very entertaining, the students were, mm -hmm. and it was very well attended. Standing room only, so yeah. nice. Yeah. Any other items from the board? Uh, yeah, yes. I just want to thank Linda and Tom for oh. their years of service, <laughs> and I'm I'm happy to be able to have served with both of you. So. Thank you so Thank much. You. Um, and can I keep this, Mary Beth? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 We and want I also you to keep them on yourself. We'll oh. replace them. With you. Okay. I also want to thank the community for allowing me to serve to serve on the board for six years. And you know, you go through all your stages of life and. And you think, oh gosh, what else could I learn? And I've learned so much by being a part of this board 
and advocating for the school district and this district will always be the love of my life. So thank you very much. Uh, I've got a few more years than Linda. The experiences of serving on the Board of Education are numerous. A lot of highs, a lot of lows, uh, a lot of funny times, a lot of sad times, but it's all been good. And, you know, I, I, I think back, Sam and I have been together for the nine years that I've been on the board and Linda's been here with six. Kathleen spent years with me too. And the camaraderie has been wonderful. And uh, I'm gonna miss it. I really am. But I can't go because there's something that's been troubling me and it needs to be made public. And as much as it hurts to say this, Fran Hofer is right. There are times when the public needs to know what's going on. And this is one of them. We did a lot of discussion tonight on board policy and the importance of board policy. And policy comes first, and we have to stay to the letter of the law, etc. And we have a board member sitting here who was sitting here illegally in violation of board policy. And if the newspaper would like a copy of it, you can have it. When it was brought up, we were told emphatically that we were wrong. That Jim Bell was not a director in city government. And he even looked at me, pointed his finger at me and said, Check at it. Well, Jim, I did. I talked with an alderman, and I used the scenario of having a problem with garbage in my neighborhood, and said, who's in charge of code enforcement? Without hesitation, of the director is Jim Bell. I talked to another retired alderman who was just recently retired, and he said that the city had set up a program sending Jim to school to become director of code enforcement. With it, a series of raises, understandable. I ran into one of the employees of the code enforcement, he had a jacket on, code enforcement on the jacket, I said, gee, who's your director? Oh, James R. Bell. Without hesitation. He looked at the website, and the website listed the director of zoning and code enforcement as James R. Bell. Letterheads from the city listed Jim as director of zoning and code enforcement. But we were told, I pass out permits. Just recently, the website was changed. Jim's job description was changed. The letterheads are changed. This is cover-up. This says that you cannot hold a position on the board and the city administration at the same time. It says the director of code can't be it. That's right. That's what it says. That's right. And I'm not the director of code. No, you're going to have to argue that one out. Well, this well we're, we're waiting for the legal to, to say so, right? We've sent letters yeah. to, to the lawyer, and they have been ignored. So then policy have, is policy. We policy, policy is and policy, yeah. and you are complicit because you have not pushed it. <laughs> Wait for the attorney's opinion, right? That's I don't what think it, we need it. the stuff that you're talking about, you're talking about garbage is zoning. In it doesn't small have anything city, to do with school code. districts, board members may not hold 
any city office other than that of police officer and firefighter. I think the two of you should resign. Appreciate your opinion, Tom. That's my opinion. Is there any other items from the board? Perfect way to wrap it up, Tom. Well, classic. Could I have a motion we can get more a little classier than that. We can go to the Commissioner of Education. Second. Second. Did somebody tell me that? Then I'll go. No. Tell somebody to give me that opinion. Right there. All tell somebody to give me that opinion. President, all in, all in favor. back it up. Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's all you You may adjourn. <coughs>